normally at this time of the morning on a Saturday, and many of you, I'm sure, I have been awake for at least three hours. I have prepared breakfast for the little Julius. I have been at least one still classmate helping get dressed, open their school folders and uh, despair at the enormous amount of homework that they get for the weekend. Told them many, many times not to raise their voices, sometimes by actually raising mine. <laughs> a fat in traffic, driving one to football and another one to rugby. Got crossed at least five times, been ignored many more times. Threaten them, write them, and often blackmail them too. <laughs> Instead, this morning I got up, I got, I dressed up, I made myself a cup of coffee, gave my husband a kiss, we closed the door, and there was silence. <laughs> and when I arrived here, and I realized that actually I could be spending my morning with people who say, please, and thank you, <laughs> I was almost moved to tears. <laughs> so I have to tell you this thing, if you ever organize any other event on weekends, please come to me. <laughs> Being here is also a strangely weird feeling for an active user of Mumsnet, as, as I am. Because Mumsnet, in a way, I think about it like a virtual family. It's like the place where you go for tips and for advice, and it's also the place where you share your worries with the cover of, of or and the freedom of anonymity. But actually seeing you here physically, in person, and realizing that there are people behind the names on, on the screen is slightly unnerving. But that's another reason I'm here though, to find out whether you really exist. And I'm, I'm not just trying to save my children. In truth, I'm, I'm very, very extremely strict about uh, public speaking engagements and even more so during the weekend. The real reason I'm here is because I wanted to thank you personally. As I have a monumental Depth of gratitude towards Mansnet and towards each and every one of you. When a couple of years ago I said publicly that I would help my husband politically, but I would not uh, change my own identity or my life, or, or more importantly, my children's life, your reaction and your support helped me more than you could possibly know. I have been immensely lucky in my life to have been helped by many, many women for many years, but what you did for me at that point, honestly, nobody ever had done that for me ever before. So you have helped me to believe in myself, and I'm profoundly grateful to you.